this is on the Manor, which is um, basically our flagship engine. Um, came back in, it originally came back in 2011 after a re very heavy overhaul. We ran it for a couple of years and then about 2016 we had to withdraw it because of problems in the boiler. Took the boiler off, sent it to Ian Riley's in um, Manchester. Um, redid the boiler and while it was here basically we had a team of volunteers go over and clean it up, it. came back, repainted it and it came back December last year and it's possibly the best engine we got. <laughs> for it this winter. It's not much really, it's just um, a valve and piston exam. Uh, we've got a volunteer who comes in, you can paint, he's going to paint the smoke box again into a glossy black so it looks shiny. Uh, probably just a few touches up here and there, paint jobs, a few mechanical things and she's, rare. she's ready to go next year really. Okay. So this is our panny tank which we are on loan from Ties Leeds, uh, Vintage Trains up in Birmingham. Uh, we've got it, we've had it all this year for 2019. Uh, we've also got it for next year, 2020, but in the winter, uh, there is some work to be done on it. It's got to be taken off its wheels to have some new tyres done, uh, new chimney and a new smoke box door. And other than that, she's pretty much raring to go for next year. There's no, there's no better home for it. This was, only, this, was, this was built in 1925 for one line only, from Bath down to Bournemouth, along the Somerset and Dorset. It was built basically because it was a very steep hills, and this is a very good engine for hills because it's got small wheels, but loads of them. Then it was sent to scrap. It wasn't. It was sent to Barry. Only two of these were sent to Barry, which is why they were saved. And then um, it ended up at Midsummer Norton, and then went to Radstock. And then in the 80s, it came to Washford because the Somerset and Dorset Trust moved to Washford. And then yeah, we, we, we it's not the West Somerset engine, but we we basically got the maintenance contract with it. And yeah, so it's a 93. This used to be a tank engine. The tank engine it was was actually 51. 93, so guess where the number came from. <laughs> um, yeah, so this was our one of our CMEs, Andy Forster, ex CME. This is basically his this is his baby, he designed it. He got the tank, we bought the tank engine from I think it was Salford Steam um, Trust. He scrapped the condition, brought it here, and he said, You know what, I'll make this a, I'll make this a tender engine, which is more suited because it's got more water space, more coal space. So he's, pre he's pretty much taken up the tanks, um, cut out the back of the bunker. So it's made an open cab, and then um, I think he's lowered the boiler a little bit or heightened it, and it's pretty much just a tank engine with a tender on the back. And it's an absolute cracking little machine, it really is. It goes better than it ever did, gallops along up the line. As long as we're, we may as well be the longest standard gauge railway in England, but that also is a negative because we've got such a lot on the rail to look after and maintain. Our p -way department are stretch thin, over 40 miles of rail, and all the sleepers, all the chairs, all the ballast, all the land management, there's a lot, a lot to look after. And it's amazing what they do at the moment. And that is all of our rail and new hill, um, which is organised by um, the Westminster Railway Association. Our consultants at the moment just help us and 